Hello, I'm Edward from Obsidian Control Systems. Uh, in this quick video, we're going to take a look at getting started with Onyx. Uh, and when you start Onyx, this is what you're going to see. Um, you've got the ability to decide whether you're going to start a new show file or perhaps load an existing one. Um, so if I were to go and click the load button, for example, that's going to allow me to bro browse for a Onyx show file and I can then choose to load that show file in. Um, the show file that was on the console, on the system, the show file that we were previously using on the system, is going to get replaced. So the one we're loading is going to replace the show file that was there already, um, but that will get backed up internally. Um, so Onyx will uh, back that up and give it a name of before last load um, when you then go in and load a new show file. Alternatively, we can go and click the join option. Um, join, that actually allows us to go and connect to another Onyx system on the network. So you can go and join that system show file so that both systems are synchronized on the network running the same show file, uh, perhaps in different locations in the venue, for example. Uh, or over on the far right hand side there, I've got my continue button that allows me to just continue where I left off when I was last using Onyx. Um, for the purposes of this though, because it's a, uh, a new show file, we're starting from afresh, I'm going to go and click new. Yes, I'd like to create. And there we go. It's giving me a little pop up there to saying uh, that the show file that's currently on the system will be backed up and labelled before last create. Uh, in the backup location and that's fine I'm going to go and click yes and I can give my show file a name training and click OK and Onyx is then going to start a nice fresh show file no fixtures patch no programming done at all and we're going to be able to start doing some programming and creating our show